Hey everybody, it's Will the Deep Sky Dude back with another quick video. So uh, if you missed the Jupiter and Moon conjunction, hopefully the skies will be clear for you uh, and me. It was cloudy for the Jupiter one as well. Um, to get out and see this one. So here we are on Sky Safari Pro again. We've got the pre-dawn hours of March 1st, okay, 2019, 6.25 a.m. in uh, Central Standard Time. But if you're looking from all around the world, the UTC will be about 12.25 p.m. on March 1st, okay? So it's gonna be on a Friday, uh, pre-dawn hours. If you get up, you're gonna see this planetary parade going on here. You've got basically everything all in a row. You've got uh, Venus, Saturn, the Moon, and Jupiter, all gonna be visible naked eye in the pre-dawn hours, all laid out so super nice in a row like this, super cool. But then, if you keep watching, so we'll select the moon here, we'll go to center, and we're gonna go down here to zoom in, all right? And here's the moon we're all familiar with. It's a pre-dawn moon, it's illuminated on the left side, um, and the moon is moving this way. So you see what's gonna happen here. You can see Saturn down here, and we'll go up here to uh, selection and then measure from, and we'll select, there we go, two and a half, uh, two degrees, 33 minutes, 52 seconds uh, from the moon. And um, what we can do then, as we always do, is we take time and we run it forward. I'm going one minute, I think a second is what it is. And as you can see, as the day goes on now, we're in, we're in dawn, so the sun has come up. It's 8.15 a.m here in central time when um, you know just those times uh, a couple of hours east or west as you go uh, or just use the universal time over here of 2 15 p.m. Uh, either way but you know I do these videos in central time because that's where I am and it's a little easier for me to talk in those terms and I hope that you guys can easily convert this stuff when you're out trying to view it so you can see that the moon is about two degrees now from uh, Saturn and then as the day goes on, as, you know, we're at 9 a.m. here. Uh, the day goes on, everything keeps getting closer and closer. Now this is where it starts getting really interesting right about here. So let's zoom out and look at what's happening. Okay, we're in the southwest horizon, basically. So here's west, here's southwest. The moon and Saturn are going down this way. And they're gonna sink below the horizon. So if you live on the west coast of America, maybe over like in Hawaii, uh, stuff like that um, You should be able to see an occultation if you're at a similar latitude that I am So an occultation is when uh, some astronomical body goes behind the moon from our perspective And what will happen is it will literally disappear. So and that's gonna happen uh, from Basically my perspective we will go back about right here um, you can see that it's going to be just after 1.34 p.m. here in Central Time, 7.34 p.m. UTC. So you West Coasters, this will be what, 11 or 12 maybe, if I'm doing the calculation right in my head. You should be able to get out and see this exact view uh, with a telescope, uh, maybe even binoculars. You should be able to see Saturn in the daytime uh, with binoculars, I think. I've never tried Saturn. I've tried Jupiter and Venus, seen both in the daytime. Saturn, I don't think I've tried in the daytime. But if you can find the moon on March 1st, my point is, is that you can scan over here toward the illuminated side. Where the Terminator is, you see the Terminator here. You just go toward this illuminated side over here and you should see Saturn somewhere. Now, it depends on what time of day you're looking. It depends on all kinds of other factors, but all the way up till about 1 p.m. Central, you should be able to find Saturn. Now, if you have a telescope and a clear day, uh, you may be able to, if you have a good Western horizon, free of trees and all kinds of clouds and other obstructions, you should be able to see Saturn go behind the moon or the moon to occult Saturn. And there it went right there. And you can actually probably even like note these craters and watch it actually happen. Now, depending on what latitude and longitude you're on, Saturn may go behind the moon over here, or it may go behind the moon over here. It may not even go behind the moon at all, depending on where you are on the planet. But where we are here in Central Standard Time, it's actually pretty cool. Maybe uh, if the skies are clear, I might try to catch this occultation. I'm gonna have to go to a, a place with a good Western horizon. Uh, which is kind of hard to find here down here in the forests of uh, southeast Texas. 
try to see Saturn in the daytime. Wait till it's up in the sky somewhere out here high in the in the sky during uh, you know 10 11 12 p.m going into that region and you should be able to look just to the left of the moon just to the side that's illuminated and see Saturn um, if you follow all this system from dawn all the way till the afternoon you should definitely be able to do it it'll be more of a challenge if you're kind of going out trying to find the moon uh, in the afternoon uh, with, with fresh eyes you know you may not pick it up right away or if it's kind of cloudy you may miss it but it should still be there and then you should be able to see saturn grab your binoculars if you have a telescope grab that even better and uh if you catch the occultation i'd love to see pictures send them to the deep sky dude at gmail.com and uh i may feature them in a future video so i uh, appreciate you guys watching good luck Get out and see if you can see it. Hopefully the clouds are clear for all of us to enjoy this neat celestial event. Have a good one. We'll see you on the next video. Clear skies.